Hello guys, JNM again here with a new tutorial about Blender 2.8, the subsurface and the boolean modifier. In this tutorial I will show you how to combine both modifiers when you are creating a hard surface model. So to get started I duplicate this cube and with snapping enabled I move it to the corner of the first cube. After that I switch to edit mode and decrease the size of the duplicated cube a bit. Ok nice, now in the next step I create a pending boolean difference operation and I use my fastcarve add-on to define the first cube as the target. Then I disable apply immediately so that we create a pending boolean and then I press difference. Ok we have a pending boolean, this means we have a boolean modifier in the modifier stack. When I add a subdivision modifier now to the modifiers, it is added below the boolean modifier. And I guess the result is not what you want, even if I increase the resolution like that, or add an edge loop. The boolean cut is just not straight, and the reason is quite simple. The modifier stack is, yeah, as the name implies, a stack, and this means the order matters. The subsurf modifier has to be above the boolean, so just shoot this here to the top and then you get a nice straight cut. Ok, what I also recommend at this stage is to turn on the wireframe in the overlays, because then you can see at which position you are cutting into the mesh. And it should be near the center of faces, so that you don't have intersections with edges that lead to bad topology. Now I scale the cube with the pending modifier to find a good position for the cut. And once we found a good position we have to apply the modifiers and this is also important in which order you apply the modifiers. First I disable the wireframe overlay again and then I go to the modifiers panel and apply the subsurface modifier first and then the boolean modifier. The cutter object can be deleted now. Alright, now I turn to edit mode and the mesh looks really good. Now I enable edge selection and add some bevels to these edges. I press Ctrl and B to add the bevels and then move the mouse wheel to increase the number of segments. Ok, and to make it look really crisp, I bevel the object using my fast carve add-on, which adds a bevel modifier to the object. And if you like, you can also symmetrize this. It's also an option in the fast calf panel. And of course when we switch to edit mode again we can still edit the mesh. For example select this edge loop and scale it down. Or add bevels to the outer rings. Well this looks quite nice and interesting made with a combination of subsurf and the boolean modifier. You might as well enable a different matcap and you can see that the topology is nice and even. So guys that's it again, I really hope you liked this kind of short blender tips and if you like my channel JNM then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions or ideas for new tutorials, just add these to the comments below. Thanks for watching this, thanks for your support if you support me on my Patreon and I'll see you in the next one.